There wasn't really an explanation, you know. It's just, it was a rocky year this year, and you know, A and A is pretty good, but it's still not in our expectation. We're a good team, great talent, you know, and we have high expectations for the 49ers. Um, going forward, what are they saying about a coaching search? Don't know. Yeah, he just said it takes seven days process. Try to say that. I don't know. We just gotta wait and see. What would you like to see in a head coach? <laughs> Similar to Harbaugh. I really love Harbaugh and his approach to this team. And you can look at the stats and what he did for us. And but you know, whatever coach comes, and wish him the best of luck and see where he takes the team. It seemed like so many players didn't want him to go. Was there a problem between him and the locker room at oh, any point? Oh, definitely not. He's awesome, you know. And I believe that a lot of teams are gonna go for him, and because he's a great coach and he cares for his players, puts them first. So. Did he ever tell you guys his future plans? No. No. He just pretty much says goodbye and don't know what's happening. But you know, we're going to miss him. How about you and your future? I don't know what's my future, and we'll see in a couple weeks or a couple months. Do you have an opinion on where you'd like to be? No, I mean, anywhere. But, you know, it's just going to suck that if I do go somewhere and I, this is my home, and I made a lot of good friends, brothers, fellowship. It's just crazy. Do you think that's kind of a, a realistic possibility of playing somewhere else next week? I uh, don't know yet, you know, because I really want to stay here. Yeah. So, and I'm sure they probably try to work something out, but if not, you know, it's business and uh, find my new adventure, a new journey. Yeah. No wonderful team tonight. <laughs> no, I don't know. I didn't talk to my agent yet. He doesn't know until combine, February, March. So. Would your desire to stay here be affected by who the coach is, who the O-line coach is? Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, we have a great team, like I said, and a great coach will add to that. And, Great winning season. So, you did, did Trent meet with you guys today? Was it just him? Yeah, it was him and uh, the boss. Oh, yeah. 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 So he uh, say a couple things and just gotta keep working hard and compete. You know, and lead. Was it a rah-rah conversation? No, 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 no. Definitely not. And you said to them, why did you get me no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Business. <laughs> oh, Jim Tom Sula is a great coach. You know, he's awesome. He, he's a leader and he, he's similar to coach, but I don't know. Because I really haven't worked with him, but from observing, he's awesome. How so? Uh, he's, what would I say? He is energetic. He loves his players, and that's what I noticed. He loves his players. So. There were rumors um, about Harbaugh kind of having problems with oh, the no, this year. Like, no, no, no. Uh, what, what I was going to ask was, uh, even early in the year, there was some. At first, was there kind of a feeling of disbelief with you amongst players like that? No, that never. You know, it's like I said, it's. If you look at the stats and our record, eight and eight is 50-50, you know, it's still good in the league. But we have a high expectation of the organization and Harbaugh. So he's been having us NFC Championship, you know, Super Bowl, but they expect more. Which is, the league is, you have up and down season. You know, but we just have expectation ourselves, you know, in our organization to go to that next level. So. Mike, in, a, in a year where there were a lot of injuries on, on the line and a lot of mixing and matching, what did Jonathan Martin do to kind of come in and... Oh, John, yeah, he's been great. You know, he uh, he's just been awesome. 
AD went down, and if we didn't have Martin, it would be hard. But he did a great job for us. Him and Looney and uh, Marcus Martin came in and filled in the spots and ready to roll. So.